don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to Hawaii Likes Walkthrough Videos. Today we are going to look at how to upgrade Kaspersky Security Center. Um, currently the Kaspersky Security Center which I am running on this server is 10.4.343 and I am going to upgrade it to something like 10.5 which is the latest version um, till date today when I am recording this video of course the procedure would be same if you are upgrading it from earlier version to this version so what I have done is I have already downloaded this so Kaspersky Security Center full package again to download it you just need to go to support.kaspersky.com and for business products you will see Kaspersky Security Center over there. So what you would need to do is before doing it if you want to take a backup of Kaspersky Security Center up, it's up to you or you can just simply try to run this setup over here. So what I would like to do over here is I would like to install Kaspersky Security Center 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and it would start extracting the files for this particular setup. So I'll click next over here and I'll of course select these agreement and policies uh, to be accepted. And then next. Now if you have not taken the backup you can take the backup from here. You definitely need a password um, to take a, take the backup, and this password would be required in case if you would like to restore this backup at any point of time. I'm not going to take this backup for now because it's my test environment. I have already the backup of this server. So I'll click on I have already created a backup of the data, and then I'll click on next, and I'll click on upgrade. Now what it would do, it would upgrade each and everything one by one which is listed in here and just to show you what exactly is there, in my environment I have service pack 2 for windows, administration plugin, I have Kaspersky and security for windows administration plugin for 11 which we have installed in uh, our last tutorial where I show how to upgrade Kaspersky endpoint security to uh, from 10 or any version to 11 point something. Then I have Kaspersky endpoint security for Windows administration plugin for 11. Um, I have um, Kaspersky endpoint security uh, 10 service pack to Windows administration plugin and uh, iOS mobile device management plugin plugin in for Microsoft Exchange Active Sync all these plugins would be upgraded one by one over here. Um, definitely first it will remove the old version and then it would upgrade them to the latest version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video over here and we'll start this video recording once I'm about to complete this procedure. So now if you look over here, it has almost completed the upgrade process and it is just working on the last part which is the same point create and service back to plug in. Of course this process of upgrade um, would take some time depending on the speed and now the process is finished and I can just simply click on finish to start the Installed for Kaspersky endpoint, uh, Kaspersky Security Center 10.5. So I'm going to close this, of course, because I don't need this anymore. So if you look over here, as a normal process, when you install a new console or upgrade your Kaspersky. It runs a quick start visit. I am not going to go through with quick start visit because we already have one video tutorial for the same. And it says like you 
uh, select the application for which you want to convert policies and tasks. So I probably would select this one. I don't have any machine with the service pack two, but uh, I'll, I'll select a level for example and say next. So it has these uh, policies which are available for us. I'll click next. And of course, I'll accept this KSN. And it is always recommended to use KSN. There are several reasons for that. And Gaspers, he also recommends the same. And click OK. Free the different other policy. These are the tasks which I probably would say next and let them to be convert like that. These are the changes which uh, uh, with this version of plugin installed on my Kaspersky Security Center, you may need to edit the setting of these applications. For now, I'm not going to do that. What we are going to just look at is it is now 10.5.1781. And if you look over here, the structure and everything remains the same. If I go to remote installation, packages you just need to understand something over here is some changes so I have network agent which is an updated network agent now if I want to push this network agent to my client machine which is not running right now I can just simply power it on and I can just send this as a normal installation over there Thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos. Please comment, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products I am talking about.